Hey guys, quick update today. I've uh, listened to your opinions and first of all I've implemented the transparent uh, inventories except for the craft book uh, that's still gonna stay non-transparent. Um, it's transparent for every type of inventory I have uh, came across up until now. Also I have implemented or added new like part of the animation for the smeltery and that's the the molten um, metal it's pretty fast because there are I'm limited by the amount of uh, frames I got and if I wanted to go it if I wanted to go slower with the metal um, I would have to add like a lot of uh, frames which I don't really want to go for right now because the graphics will probably change in the future and this will be redone so my work will be quite redu redundant um, also I have listened to your zoom idea and there's zoom now I don't really like uh, how the screen is blurry because uh, I'm pretty much zooming onto uh, pixel art which isn't the best idea also it's causing some frame rate issues as you can see the character is twitching a little bit but yeah, there's the zoom option now and uh, it can be built on, I guess, to make it perform better, uh, go smoother and uh, you can probably use it to locate items on the ground, especially if you got, uh, let me chop down a tree real quick, hope for this quick, uh, if you chop it into sticks, I have added I need to cheat. <laughs> I have added a new type of branch and that's uh, stick which is just the same thing as uh, branch but it's just uh, different graphics for it because sometimes it doesn't make sense uh, to make branches out of a tree uh, or log. Uh, that's uh, well zoom actually helps in this case because those sticks are pretty thin and uh, it's really hard to figure out where to click to uh, collect them. <laughs> I don't think I have enabled collecting <laughs> for them. Uh, <laughs> okay, my, my bad. <laughs> I really forgot. Never mind. Um, I have added or I've started adding a bunch of uh, metal tools, but that's still work in progress. And. Uh, I have fixed quite a few bugs where on the startup you could be you could uh, lose all your items by shift clicking on them in the inventory because uh, there were issues with uh, some initializ initialization because uh, inventories weren't initialized properly and one of them was um, acting like it's there but it wasn't there so items would disappear and you wouldn't be able to get them anymore. Transparent inventory, smeltery. Um, there was another issue with inventories, I believe. No, uh, with R. R was actually uh, set up uh, improperly. The the variable that uh, tells or says that R is done cooking or the timer is done and by cooking I mean smelting um, it was uh, the variable was defined as static which means that it's um, the same for all the all the objects that are um, created from that uh, from that object I'm looking for that one word and I cannot really find it um, <laughs> yeah never mind yeah I'm looking for the word instance never mind so um, if it's um, when it was static, um, it would like smelt one ore, set the timer to done, and all the other ores would uh, instantly become ingots when put into the smeltery. So that's now fixed. Each instance of that object uh, has its own cooldown or timer for smelting or firing, because the issue might be common with uh, other other classes like um, bread dough and even ingots. Nope, not ingots. Never mind. 
All right, that's all I have added. And what's next? Um, about the zoom, I'm not gonna go into uh, optimization right away. I wanna continue with uh, metal processing. I want to get into the um, blacksmith furnace, uh, get it done, so you can actually craft all the metal tools. Um, sticks are ready for that. Did I just... How did I grab it? Come on! Yeah, I, I guess the the image or the yeah the image is uh, too small, but sometimes I'm able to. Huh. It might have uh, something to do with the zoom. Yeah, um, the mouse click is being de detected improperly. With the zoom, you get actually many problems. Um, you need to move the screen a little bit according to the scale uh, of the zoom. So. You need to always try to center onto the character. Also, one other thing I've done, <laughs> I've noticed that the screen isn't centered directly onto the center point of the character. So it was centered onto the top left corner where the, the image uh, for the character is. And uh, so I've moved it to the center, which is around his chest. Uh, I guess I'll have to fix the, the mouse pointer detection click, whatever you want to call it, um, for the zoom. As I need to scale it the same way I have scaled the, the screen centering thingy. I really like to use thingy because when I run out of the words you can put it anywhere. That's like the, the word only. You can pretty much put it anywhere in the sentence and it's gonna somehow works magically. Alright, uh, blacksmith furnace. When I'm done with that, I'll be able to craft all the metal tools, so I will have to add all the metal tools. Um, I'm still thinking about how to go about that, because um, it's like a lot of recipes, and I'm kind of thinking about changing the crafting system a little bit. Um, not the, the front end, but the back end, which means um, you're not gonna really notice it in the game, but uh, from the programming standpoint I want to make it easier for me to implement because right now it's uh, it's pretty fast but still not really the best stuff I could go for I think uh, I get just this gut feeling that um, I could go for a better solution so I'll look into that when I'm done with uh, with this, this stuff I'll uh, revisit all the timers for actions that require tools and I will increase them and I will add some kind of modifier for the tool you're using so I want to like penalize or yeah make it longer make the the stone age uh, tools uh, like take much longer time to do the action so chopping with stone axe is gonna take much more much more time than with uh, metal axe and I want to make a some sort of difference in between uh, the types of metal. So right now, this is uh, copper, this is tin, this is uh, iron, and this one is bronze. So I want to make these a little bit faster than the the, the stone eggs. Iron faster than these, and bronze of course faster than this one. I want to make the well, that's usual, usually in other games. Uh, you want to make the player feel the progression. And uh, what I'm gonna go for is a lot of content that's gonna make you feel like uh, you're gonna want to spend a lot of time in order to progress just a little bit, because that little bit is gonna help you a lot. Um, I'm not gonna go into details right now, but uh, I'd like to go further than the metal age or whatever you want to call it. I want to go like into electricity, maybe. I'm still thinking about that. It's like I got these crazy ideas. It's either gonna be electricity or zombies or flying rainbow, rainbow ponies, but it's a possibility right now. Um, right now I'm still focusing on the task ahead which is uh, blacksmith furnace 
and that's gonna take me some time because I need to come up with graphics, animation, and all the recipes. So, hey, exactly 10 minutes, cool. Um, <laughs> I wanted to, to thank you for your ideas, uh, I appreciate that, and, God damn it. <laughs> and see you guys next time. Oh yeah, um, I nearly forgot, you wanted uh, me to show a little bit of code every time, so um, these changes were kinda broad, so I'm gonna go for the scaling, and this is actually the method that uh, detects uh, mouse wheel, and um, this is uh, zoom in, this is zoom out. And you can see I'm capping the zoom uh, to certain amounts or values just to make sure that uh, it's not gonna go indefinitely. That would be kind of weird. Um, and the scaling works like there's the draw method. I gotta win one big ass uh, draw method instead of uh, like adding the certain draw methods to the <laughs> objects because this is kind of easier for me to work with right now. Later on it might not be, but right now it is. So um, at first I use the transformation that's uh, set up by the mouse wheel. So it starts with the normal transformation, which is the one to one ratio. But uh, if you move the mouse wheel, zoom in, uh, it's gonna be different. But you only want to zoom in onto the objects that are not in the heads-up display. So you actually need to use a different transformation for the heads-up display, which is around here. And this uh, also translates back to the original position, so you can start drawing the HUD from zero to your window max size. All right. Um, I'll have to fix the zoom or uh, click click detection for zoomed in option, and then I can move on the black to the blacksmith uh, uh, stuff. All right. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>